US-based Ghanaian-born movie producer Kobe Maxwell is bent on defying the odds in the telenovela and reality TV series front by introducing a new reality series, My African Love. There's more in the following report. Young Ghanaian movie producer Kobe Maxwell has taken the initiative to challenge the status quo by introducing indigenous reality TV series titled My African Love. The series, which is set to premiere later this year, stars popular Ghanaian actress and entertainer Ifia Odor. Speaking to Class News on the project, Kobe Maxwell says the idea was born out of the frustrations of most Africans, especially those in the diaspora who struggle with their relationship due to the culture dynamics. He adds that My African Love is different because it does not focus on nudity and foul language, which seems to be the order of the day. From where I'm coming from, when we see reality show, you're going to see people banging, like real thing. You're going to see people kissing. You're going to see a lot of fight. So, and that is real, what makes reality show, you know, <laughs> the general. So, when we say this is different, can you be entertained without all of that element? Yes. It's, it's funny. At the same time, there's a message coming across. You know what I mean? And reaction, emotion, and stuff like that. So, to me, I, I learned from this project that you can be, we can do reality show without all those elements, sex, you know, kissing, fighting, all those other things that classify reality show to be done and still have a good reality show and entertaining. Actress Ifiodo also had this to say. There were 13 guys in the house. Yes, there were 13 different guys, different personalities, different size, different heights, different everything. Honestly, it was fun. It was really fun. We went jogging, we played games. Um, some drama happened because my ex came to the house. So some drama would happen, some fights were happening. So I had to calm them down until yeah, my ex came into the show. And I didn't know what it was all about. It's going to come in um, December, December 19th. So if we're going to show it at the Snap Cinema. And that was a news desk report read by my colleague Nasaria Rahman. And that's how we wrap up the news.